Okay, there are just another couple of features I want to show you here within um, this collection, and that is the collocations tab, and it will show you the um, top 100 collocational phrases. So these are words that go together um, as Dr. Hoberman um, would normally express himself when he's talking about issues of globalization. So we've got here globalization process, labor market. Um, you can go through the different patterns here. Um, noun plus of plus noun. So age of globalization, of course, is coming up top there. So this is a way for you to just identify key phrases that perhaps you can transfer um, for your own use into your essay writing um, assessments or perhaps into the forum discussions with your peers. And um, up here is the word list tab. And this is just going to focus on um, the top words within this collection. Okay, so obviously global comes in at number one. Um, and these are the academic words um, across this collection. So global, globalization, economics. So um, key, key words here for you to think about. And of course, they're all hyperlinked back to where they actually occur within the lectures. All right, so there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is the powerful search function, which goes across this collection of lectures. Now, if I take you to the edX dashboard for our MOOC, The Age of Globalization, I've just come into the same um, lecture, Media and the Internet, and I've gone over to the Quiz tab, and Here's the, fir the first question. Why is Ted Turner, creator of CNN, considered an idealistic internationalist? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for sentences or paragraphs. You can search at different levels, articles, sentences, paragraphs, collocations um, for Ted Turner. So this is an easy way to quickly identify where Dr. Hoberman talked about Ted Turner. So there were two sentences across all of the lectures. So it helps you to quickly um, see where, where he's being talked about. All right, and finally, lexical bundles. What are they? Um, lexical bundles are terms of phrasing um, that people um, tend to repeat in their spoken English and also in their written English as well. This is a way for you to recognize how these types of phrases, these repeated phrases, occur in the collection. If you look for phrases that occur in the middle of sentences, so a great deal of in the sense that, um, so offered in the United States, costs in the United States. So it's just basically t teaching you how words are used around common expressions. All right, so I think that's probably enough for this um, training video. And then we just have one more uh, which I'll go into about the activities that you can use to practice on the lectures.